Hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jane. Today we're checking out the Warm Bender Fuzz by Warm Audio. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is Fuzz Day here on the page. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when it's Fuzz Day, I'm really excited to come into the studio. I'm such a sucker for cool looking and cool sounding fuzzes. So I'm pretty sure you could imagine my excitement when I opened up the box and saw this. The Warm Bender by Warm Audio. Looks a little familiar, doesn't it? It is definitely going for the Tone Bender look and absolutely going for that classic Tone Bender sound. There are three different modes on this pedal. Uh, one being the classic three transistor germanium Tone Bender Mark II thing, but you also have the more rare uh, two transistor mode and a really lovely silicon voicing as well. So uh, we'll go through those. We also have a, a little useful sag switch. So it's actually gonna drop the voltage of the pedal, make things a little bit more zippy, kind of go for that dying battery in the fuzz pedal sound that a lot of us really like to play with. It really, really looks like a beautiful pedal, just big enough to be really noticeable on the board, but not too big that it's going crazy, but I'll be honest with you, I like big pedals, so this might be huge for a lot of you, but for me, it's oh, just exactly where I want it to be. What we're gonna do today, got a bad cat, hot cat, going into uh, my Fender Telecaster. We're gonna go through the warm bender and see if the tones matches the looks on this really beautiful pedal. Let's dig in. <laughs> All right, we're all wired up and ready to rock and roll. One thing to note, this pedal wants to be as close to your guitar as possible. So try to keep it right at the front of your pedal board. If you're gonna have any effects on this side of the pedal, uh, just make sure that they're true bypass because this operates its best and it sounds its most full and most dynamic when it has a direct line of sight to the changes going on with your guitar electronics, all right? so. Uh, this thing has three different version modes and each one are very different from each other. They have different sweet spots and a different playing characteristics. So instead of just turning knobs, getting sounds, I'm actually gonna show you how to take advantage of this pedal and take advantage of all the different strengths of each mode, all right? Let's start off with mode number one, the classic like Tone Bender Mark II sound. Uh, this one has three germanium OC75 transistors. Lots of like this beautiful harmonic-y, mid-range-y goodness. One of the best all-time guitar solo sounds ever. So let's go here, guitar and amp on its own. This is the Warm Bender. Right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. In this mode, uh, the attack knob actually doesn't really do that much. I usually put it in a place uh, where it's just not sounding super untamed, but it's very consistent through the whole swing. <laughs> So the way I like to take advantage of this setting is uh, this setting doesn't really clean up like the way a fuzz face would. It doesn't get super clean. What happens is when I turn down the volume knob on my guitar, it just tightens everything up, makes it a little bit more edgy and a little bit more poppy and like 
you know, uh, percussive. That's what I'm thinking. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna go, you're gonna hear that like really liquidy sound when I'm all the way up, and then you hear how it just really tightens up when I uh, turn it down. Check this out, here we go. That's a huge difference, especially with the feel. It really makes it so uh, just edgy and attacky. I always like to just run a little bit and it just really makes me so happy when I do. So let's go hear the next mode, all right? We're gonna go down over here and this takes us to the, I guess they call it the Tone Bender 1.5 where instead of three germanium transistors, we have two. We have an OC76 and I believe it's an SFT337. I think that's what it is. And you're gonna hear immediately, uh, it gets more fuzz facey in the fact that when I turn down the knob, it actually cleans up quite a bit. It's the most, I think, dynamic one where you have lots of shades. When you get up top, it's really ratty and nasty in a, in a really lovely way. It doesn't quite have the low end, but man, it's a dynamic sound. Check this out. And I like to run the attack pretty high. Oh my goodness, here's the difference like when I have everything at 10 between the two different modes. So a very different response, lots of dynamics. I, I really like it if you're a, a real like leave it on all the time kind of guy. Now, let's go to the next mode, this is the silicon mode. A really cool sound actually I haven't really experimented with. Um, it is back to the three knob transistor thing, but because it's silicon, we're gonna have a little bit of a faster attack. And it's gonna be a little bit more like a cross between distortion and fuzz. It's a really cool thing, check this out.
Awesome, awesome. Let's hear the difference between that and the standard mode. It's almost like a distortion pedal, really tight. That is such a pleasing, pleasing sound. Now, uh, we have an extra feature here, and that's the sag switch over here. And the sag switch is going to drop down our voltage to simulate a dying battery. And you really hear the effects when you're on that silicone mode the most. Check this out. You're gonna hear it kind of tighten up, get spitty, almost like there's a gate on the pedal. It's a really cool sound. <laughs> Here's the full nine volt. <laughs> it really is apparent there. When I go to the other modes, it's a little bit more subtle, but you can hear uh, things just get a little bit more um, gaty and a little tighter. Here's the full range, a little bit more deep. Let's cut it. Here we go with the less voltage. It just makes it faster in a way. Let's go to the next mode. Let's go to the first one. This is the nine volts. Let's cut it. Full. And that is the Warm Bender by Warm Audio. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already and check out the links in the description below. If you want to hear my review on the Warm Bender, uh, check it out on Patreon because that's where I do all my reviews. And uh, YouTube's actually where I do all my other videos. I usually just keep the reviews for Patreon. Uh, my question for the subscribers is, uh, what was your favorite voicing? I actually like the silicon voicing. That was my favorite one for this pedal. But I'm curious to hear what yours is. Write it down in the comments section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.